Welcome to this episode of Ink It Up with Jessica TV. I'm Jessica Taylor, and on this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a fun fold card that's kind of a tri-fold um, with an accordion fold. And you can see that it folds up small like this, and then when you open it up, it has different panels that you can decorate. So you can take the base of this card and use it and decorate it for any occasion that you like. So let me show you how to make the base of this card. You're going to start with an eight and a half inch by 11 inch piece of cardstock and cut it in half down the center so that you have two pieces that are each four and a quarter inches by 11 inches. So you can get two of these cards out of one sheet of paper. The next thing you're gonna do is score to make your folds. So I'm gonna use the Simply Scored board to do that. And it makes it easy because I've already put my measurements up on the board. And so I don't, I'm less likely to make mistakes than if I use my paper cutter and my scoring blade. But you can definitely do that and just measure out each score line. So the score lines you're gonna make are at one and a half inches, three inches, five and a half inches, and eight inches. To use the Simply Scored board, you wanna make sure that your cardstock is pushed up against this ledge and this top ledge and you're just going to hold it into place there. It comes with a stylus and so you're just going to line up in the groove and pull down and that's going to make your score line. So again you want to make sure that you're holding your cardstock in place. Make sure it's firmly pushed up against the top and we'll make our score lines. Once you have your score lines done you're just going to accordion fold. So the first flap is going to go back, and then we'll fold the next one this way. So they're, you're just folding in the opposite way to fold it up. And that is the base for your card. Super easy. So to decorate it, one of the things you can do is add some pattern paper, some designer series paper that already has a pattern on it. Uh, I like to use Stampin' Up's packs because they have coordinating papers in the pack, so you know that they're going to go together. This is from the It's My Party pack. And this piece that goes on the front panel is one and a quarter inches by four inches. The middle panel is two and one quarter inches by four inches. And the final panel is two and three quarter inches by four inches. I'll have those measurements down below the video so that you can see them quickly. So for the card that I made with this one, once I glued those panels into place, I just added some embellishments so that when you close it up, you only see a few of those. You see the balloon punch. And then this little present here I made with just a one inch square of pattern paper, again from the same pack. And then I tied a little bow to put on top with a mini glue dot. So then when you open it up, the second panel has two balloons and I just used a black marker to draw the lines. And the last one I stamped my greeting and put it on a circle and then this is just the washi label punch behind it. This panel here, I left those blank. You can certainly decorate them. Also, this is a nice place to write your greeting. So if you wanted to write happy birthday and a little message, you could do that here. So that's one version of the card. Another version, because Easter is coming up, maybe not by the time you watch this, but right now it's coming up, I decided to make an Easter version of this card. So when it's all folded up, you see the Easter bunny head and a few little eggs hiding in the grass. And then when you open it up, um, it just says hippity hoppity happy Easter. So I didn't do anything special to the background of this card, and you certainly could. You could emboss this to make it a little fancier, or you could use, again, the designer series paper. But I decided to go with the grass on these panels, and I just wanted to show you quick how I did that. I used some of the cotton paper, so it's thinner and it's a little bit silky. And I just cut a two inch strip and then I folded it not quite in half. I wanted my grass to be at different levels, so I left one side a little bit longer and the front top side a little bit shorter, and then folded it over, and on the back, I just placed a line of the tear and tape adhesive along the fold side. So then you can take your fringe scissors, and you already have a guide. So you're just gonna cut down to that tear and tape adhesive. So you can't go too far and totally cut it. You're just going to cut along. And if you cut all the way along, that's just going to give you some nice grass. And then I just cut it to how wide my panels were. 
So I hope that you enjoyed learning about this fun fold card and that you will go and give it a try for yourself. I can't wait to see what you make. Thanks so much for watching.